Hey you, dude, what are you doing? I have something way more cooler to show you. Walk with me. Kalle, hey. look, look what I found. Welcome. So, so we're here at, at uh, BeelSport uh, Custom Motor Show, showcasing the uh, BMW Nuke 10 4 Nuke, EP. Nuke 4, yeah. This is our creation. The creation. The creation. So basically what we have is uh, we have a full replica of a BMW M4 DTM race car. Uh, it's fully built. Everything on the body is in carbon. Uh, and we have also a tube frame chassis, which enables us to get the weight around at 1100 kilograms with uh, 1100 horsepower. So it's uh, quite a good ratio, power and uh, weight. Power and weight, yeah. exactly. But uh, uh, would you say about the arrow? The arrow is, is massive. Uh, we have massive. Uh, at 300 kilometers an hour, we have four and a half tons of downforce. That's a lot of downforce. That's a lot That's of downforce. all of the downforce. All no of the downforce, gets yeah. To share. Exactly. Yeah. So if we be cars on the track, they will have no downforce. Because <laughs> we stole it, like Gollum. <laughs> to, to stop Not that pressure. car with 1100 horsepower, we have these massively custom made endless brakes uh, with a six pot caliper in the front, four pot in the back. And uh, this will for sure enable us to stop the car when we need to. Yeah. But, but the idea is, of course, not to use the brakes, so... We need to go fast. We need to go fast. Faster than everyone. Faster than lightning. <laughs> <laughs> lightning speed. Uh, inside of here, you can see most of the electronics. We have the, the main uh, brain of the, of the car on the right there. Uh, and then we have the servo unit. We have the compressor for the, for the paddle shift gearbox. And we also have some power distribution modules for, for the power of the car. Uh, everything is snugly fitted here, so... Everything is reachable from the driver's side uh, where I will be driving. And uh, perhaps we have a joker also that might be driving it. So, uh, For when we want to set the extremely fast laps. Exactly. Yeah. Those game-changing laps. Exactly. Okay, Kalle, we need to show them the back. The, the back rear of the end car. of the car. Yeah. This is where the money is. Like literally and not the money. And hopefully this is what all of the uh, opponents on the track will see. Exactly. Basically. This is only what they will see. <laughs> so. The, the fundamentals of the car is based on this tunnel that various engineering in the States helped us to do. And uh, this gives us over two tons of downforce, but literally no drag. Uh, there is some drag. Some but drag, but some not drag. a lot. So we basically, you, you could say that the entire floor is a uh, game changer. Game changing part of the car. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We have this wing. Uh, it's also made by various engineering, but all of the carbon is made by a Swedish company called Elite Projects. And if you see, like, the details of the carbon is spot on. Uh, this wing gives us around uh, 1,000 kilograms of downforce, but it only gives um, 100 kilos of drag. So, so it it's is, a ratio of 1 to 10. Yeah, exactly. So uh, this is like having nothing here, but it still gives everything. So Game changer. Game changer. <laughs> If you look, if, if you can see also through the back window, come here. Come here. Come here. This. Here, this is a special setup. So we have a three suspension setup here, which is basically the third element. The, 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 the damper that's farthest back is the one that we will, uh, you know, handle the aero parts. Down here, we have also Albin's SD6 gearbox with clutch, flywheel, starter motor, alternator. Everything is here in the back. And uh, as you can see, we have this uh, sticker. Uh, we have de dedicated this build somewhat to uh, the memory of Joachim Melberg, who uh, sadly passed away in the start of the COVID pandemic. He's been somewhat of a mentor to us for throughout the years. Yeah, correct. Good friend. Okay, so uh, should we show them the front end? We should show them the we front end. We should show them. Should yeah. them? Do you think? Do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. And boom, there we go. There we go. So, as you can see, the first view of this is not that you see the engine. But if Kalle takes the cover away, then you can at least see this first part of the engine. Uh, the way this is set up is that we have uh, the engine way in the back. Uh, and it is a really nice weight distribution of the car. Yeah, it's a somewhat of a mindfuck because you... You think that the uh, it should, it should, should be, be here, yeah, but it's but in the back. But actually, it's in here. Yeah. 
and we basically this is a this is a BMW M4 engine uh, M3 engine uh, from the E92. Yeah, the S65. S65, and it's stroked to uh, 4.7 liters, uh, twin turbos. It will produce around 1,100 horsepower, and uh, the suspension setup is the same here in the front as in the back. Yeah, so triple triple set, uh, setup. We, we, I mean, Koenigsegg has triplex. What should we call this? Uh, triple Ds. <laughs> <laughs> triple KWs. Tri yeah, triple K KV KVs. KVs. Yeah. KVs. Triple KVs. Because all of the suspension parts is from uh, KW in Germany. Yeah, and this is a custom made setup for this car. So it's uh, uh, all of the six dampers that sits on the car are uh, three way competition dampers. Made for this car. Made for this car. So special length, special springs, special ratios, and everything is special on, on this. Uh, we have massive intercoolers in the front. Uh, on this side, you see also a 25 row intercooler, uh, sorry, oil cooler on this one. So we have a massive cooler to take care of the, the oil that uh, will produce. It will get some, some hot temperatures in there, I believe. Yeah, and it's a billet dry sump system. Billet dry sump. Uh, we have a billet crank. We have forged internals. We have steel sleeves. So the engine normally produces 420 horsepower. Uh, but without the turbos right now, we will be around 560. So uh, we will not uh, be needing to, to stress those turbos that much. It will, it will give uh, 1,100 on a half miss. Yeah, we don't need much more. No, no, no. That's a good start. And as you can see, everything is uh, heat coated with a, a really nice stainless steel heat treatment from Thermotech in Germany. They, so, they, they, they did a killer job. I mean, this looks immaculate. Yeah, it does. Gorgeous. We will still we will also do the exhaust systems on the side. Yeah. Sh should we show them how it looks like? Yeah, let's take one door off. So here we have a three and a half inch exhaust system on each side uh, with the special plates that uh, you know exhaust the hot air from the tunnel. Um, and also we run uh, double turbo smart 50 millimeter wastegates on, on, on each side. All of the fuel components is from Nuke Performance. Yep. Uh, really blow off nice valve. Stuff. Yeah, all we, made in Sweden. All made in Sweden. We have the blow off valves from Nuke. The fuel regular is from Nuke. The CFC uh, unit CFC in the back. CFC unit is from Nuke. So, and all of the catch cans that we will use for, for the ventilation of the gearbox and engine will be from Nuke. All Nuke, yeah. yeah. Because the, it's the best stuff. It's, it's the best stuff. Why would you buy anything else? Yeah, and now they also have a motorsport fuel rails for this engine. Game changer. Game changer. We will need that. Like, Tour, if you're watching this, send it. Send it. Send it right away. I don't know why you have not sent it yet. <laughs> See, We're waiting. We're waiting. Patiently. Yeah. But this uh, steering wheel. Yeah. It's pretty custom. Yeah, if you hold the door. I, I can I can take off the steering wheel. And you, you can, oh, Jesus. Okay, it's gonna be a blooper, you know, but don't cut it, it is it is what it is. So this is a steering wheel that's custom made in-house. Uh, really nice carbon, comes from a Swedish supercar uh, manufacturer. We don't have to say which one. Maybe, you know, they will sue there's us. There's not that many. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not that many. Uh, it's basically custom made. So the, the grips inside here are 3D printed. Uh, the back side here, uh, this is 3D printed with a Markforge printer from Trede Verkstan in Sweden. Uh, these are printed by myself, so these will be exchanged. Inside of here we have a, a circuit board. Yeah, canvas. Canvas board. So all of the buttons, uh, you know, it translates to canvas. So inside of here we have only four pins that we use. So no ca loose cables. No loose cables. Just plug it in. Exactly. And if you, if you don't want someone to start the car, you just take the steering wheel with you under the pillow and you know then you're safe so uh, really nice thing and also the the local uh, like what is it what, what is it called skreddare in swedish <laughs> like skreddare can you translate that i don't know what it is but I mean, you know we had the local guy put some nice fabric on it super nice i think this will be a good uh, add to the car and it is that easy to pop on so uh, also, I can show you something more. If you can zoom in, now it's a little bit messy because we have some charge cables on here, but you can see that little black box there. That's a Litblox battery. It weighs something around two kilos and it has, uh, it has Bluetooth connectivity. It has uh, a FIA integrated kill switch of the car. So we don't have to, you know, 
have these manual switches. We, we just push a button and then the battery kit dies. And, and we can monitor that fully through, through the app. Uh, and um, so even if the battery, you know, if, if a cell in the battery would break in some way, the battery will kill. So, so that's a really nice feature of the car. And it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Like it's fully carbon. Yeah. Like everything else. Everything else. Okay. What do we feel about the next step for the project or for I the I mean, car? now now that they have seen the new M4 EP, yeah. uh, we we need to say what what the plan is, right? So yeah. what is the plan? The the plan right now is that we have in the end of May we have uh, two um, two different car shows to attend. We will see which one we will do, uh, but we will also announce that on our Instagram page. Yeah. Uh, but the the main idea right now is that we will finish the car. Uh, we will try to start it up. Uh, and uh, then we will start the technical shakedown of the car. So we will probably have three different days of, of technical shakedowns. Uh, and after that, we will start, you know, running the car on the track. Uh, I think during this, this year, 2022, uh, which also has like the end of the pandemic, it, it will be a lot of testing. Because uh, there's going to be a lot of testing and a lot of tuning. There's yeah. a lot of parts that needs to be adjusted. Yeah. I mean, everything on the car is custom made. Yeah, everything is custom. Yeah. Just because it's in my head and it works good in my head doesn't mean it works good in the reality. So we need to test and see. And yeah. So I, I mean, this year we will be, we will do testing. We will show it off. We will be on different events to show the car. Uh, and you know, it, it's uh, it, like end of the summer. I mean, it's gonna be uh, on the track. For uh, sure. But not fully attack. No. We, no, no. we won't take it step by step by step. So we sure that everything works. Because uh, we don't want to be in a position where we go to a track attend the race and nothing works <laughs> no 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 we don't want to go into we don't want to go to an event and wrench all weekend that's not our idea here so no. uh, we, we want to have it perfectly dialed in and and also uh, you know be able to showcase the car as the perfect build that it is so uh, but anything can happen anything course. can happen and to be fair uh, we owe this to our sponsors yeah. like uh, nothing uh, nothing would be here if no we weren't for these guys for these guys that you see here so uh, without the help of these, uh, you know, this would still be in just our heads. Yeah, just an idea. Just an idea. So I, massive thanks to our sponsors that are, uh, you know, pushing, innovating with new products uh, and, and, you know, uh, also helping us to push the boundaries of things. Uh, because I, th I believe that this shape of the car, the technicality of the car, it's, it's not unheard of. It's been done before, but it's, it's not, a, you know, it's not common. It's not common. Not, not in any way or anywhere in the world. No, exactly. So I think that the guys at BMW would even be impressed on this. Fingers crossed on <laughs> Yeah, <Hopefully>. fingers crossed. <laughs> Please don't sue us. <laughs> Kale, like he's been here for a while now. Yeah, we need to get back to our audience. Yeah, our audience here, yeah, we need to show them. And he has seen far enough. Yeah, so. we're done with him. Um, I think he but, can, uh, he can just go back, go back, go back to the hole he came from. <laughs>